Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter! Boom, 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 boom. Two extra booms for the fashion mall in Indianapolis. Boom, boom, review stuff. And yes, I am back for another review. And today, I'm gonna do a food review of Chipotle. And let me just tell you, what I thought was gonna be a really easy review has turned out to make me bitter. I'm so bitter right now. Okay, I mean, not really, but I'm just like, whatever so i came home and i was like uploading my videos that i had done i did a vlog on my vlog channel and then i went to the farmer's market and bought some flour so i was like uploading that video and my husband was taking a nap because he's going out to dinner with some girlfriends tonight um so happy mother's day to all of you out there first of all happy mother's day we're gonna take my mother-in-law out to brunch tomorrow so anyway i um was like well i should do a review video and i'll get something that i am gonna eat for dinner and then i'll review it and then that will be a perfect review right so my husband loves Chipotle. He goes to Chipotle all the time, like three, four times a week. Loves it, right? And so <clears throat> whenever he's coming home, he's always like, do you want me to get you something from Chipotle? Now I have to tell you, I am more of a, you know how like, <laughs> like the, it's like Coke or Pepsi, you know, like I'm more of a Qdoba fan, okay? I think their queso is a hundred times better. I just like Qdoba better. I, I'm not a huge, huge, huge Chipotle fan, but I don't dislike it. Like I'll eat it, but I'm not a huge fan of their stuff, okay? But about a year ago, I reviewed the uh, veggie, because I'm a vegetarian, I reviewed their veggie burrito bowl and I was like, oh my God, like I've fallen in love with this burrito bowl. It was so good, the sour cream and the black beans and everything. It was so good. The queso sucked. <laughs> I think the queso at Chipotle is horrible. I really do. I'm sorry. But I still get it on my stuff. So I have been wanting to try this cauliflower rice that they have there. It's this new thing that they've had. I think they've had it now for like six months or something. But I've been wanting to try it for a while now. And one day I went to Qdoba and I was going to um, go in there and I was going to get the cauliflower. I just wanted a side of cauliflower rice to try it by itself. Which I don't know how you order it that way or how you do it. You have to go in to do it, I guess. But at that time, um, did I say Qdoba? I meant Chipotle. At that time, Chipotle, you could only make the orders and go pick them up. So I was like, okay, and I was, I just ended up doing a Starbucks review probably, <laughs> you know, something else. So today I was sitting around, I was like, I'm kind of hungry for some Mexican food, you know, like Chipotle is good and I want to try this cauliflower rice since I just tried the cauliflower gnocchi from Noodles and Company. So I got online and I was like looking at the different Chipotles in our area and like all the Chipotles around us were closed. So I saw that this, there was this Chipotle right here and I was like, I don't know where there's a Chipotle like at the mall, like around the mall. And it said off of Keystone, which is this major road right here. And it was like off of like Keystone. And I was like, where is that? That there's a Chipotle. I couldn't figure it out. Right. And so I didn't even think like that. It, I mean, I didn't think anything about it being in no food court. Okay. No food court. So I make my order. $23 worth of food. Okay, so I'll tell you what I ordered. Because <laughs> I'm hungry, see? I got um, a veggie bowl. And I got it with um, the cauliflower rice, black beans, queso blanco, uh, medium corn, which I don't know why medium, but anyway, sour cream, cheese, and guac. No charge, they said on the guac. Okay. And then I got chips and the corn salsa because I love the corn. I love corn anything, okay? But if you don't know, if you haven't watched my vlogs, I am, I am recently addicted to street corn, which they also call elote, I think. Anyway, and I really like it when it's off the cob, but I've been eating it on the cob as well. And I love street corn, and I love street corn salsa, and I love corn salsa. I love anything to do with corn, right? So I got chips and corn salsa, and then I got a lot, which comes with a small bag of chips, and then I got a large um, chip and queso for later, <laughs> when I'm just sitting around watching that show them, because I'm totally um, addicted to that show, and then I got a, mix, uh, a Mexican Coke, which they had Mexican Coke and Mexican Sprite, so I was like, okay, I like Mexican Coke at Mexican restaurants, that's what they call it, I guess, so I'm going to try it, right? So I go and I pick up my order and I'm like driving here and I'm looking at the directions on my phone and I'm like, oh, this is in the food court. I have to go into the food court at the mall, right? It's the day before Mother's Day and the food court sits right next to that Pandora place. That Pandora bracelet, necklace, whatever it is, I don't know, everybody in Indianapolis must be getting their mother some Pandora because there was a line stretched all through the food court. I mean, you couldn't even get into the food court, all right? So I go into the food court, tells me to go pick up my food at this place where the food's just sitting there. 
Well, it's not. The food's sitting behind and I have to ask for it. So I'm standing there and there's a line a mile long to Chipotle. And I'm standing there and I'm standing there. I'm kind of trying to stand away from people, you know, whatever. So this kid like walks right up in front of me, sees me standing there, walks right up in front of me because parents don't teach their kids politeness anymore. Okay. I don't know what happened to manners, but <laughs> apparently we don't teach them anymore. I don't know. Okay. But my mother and father always taught me to say, um, please, excuse me, and thank you. So those might be, my mother always said a simple thank you is all that's necessary. So this kid walks in front of me. I'm like, listen, I'm not in any hurry. Let, let him have his food, whatever. So he gets his food. So I'm sitting there and I see my bag sitting right there, right? And the guy's like, kind of like, he's like, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah, I'm picking up an order for Peter. And he goes, oh, okay. And he hands me my bag. And I said, and he hands me an, oh, an apple juice and this Coke right here. And I said, oh, okay, which I'm, let's see if, if I can open it. Please let me open this. I knew I was going to have to have a bottle opener to open this. Damn it, Janet. What am I supposed to do? Eat a burrito bowl with some coffee from Starbucks? Nasty. I almost brought a water because I knew that they wouldn't give me any silverware unless I asked. So I actually brought paper towels and a fork so I could do this review. I cannot, I know that in here somewhere I have a bottle opener down there because this has happened before when I was doing a review, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it home and I'm not trying to cut up my hand with that, okay? Now, Peter, back in the day, I would have gone over to the cement over there, the curb, and I just broke off the top of it, and that's how we would have done it, you know? But I, listen, I've been sober for 26 and a half years, so we don't do that no more, okay? So anyway, I get my food, and I'm happy. I'm like, okay, everything's great. I'm excited to come out here and do this review. So I come all, and I'm sitting right in front of this Raleigh Limited Menswear. Does anybody shop there anymore? Who? I don't know nobody that shops there, okay? And this Shapiro's over here used to be Dalt's Restaurant, which we used to go to when I was a kid, and I loved it. I always got the club sandwich, and then I got a tall bottle. They'd have like, you know, this, but like a tall bottle. I get a Dr. Pepper. It was so good. Or Mr. Pip if they, I don't remember which one they had. But anyway, so I'm getting out to my car and I almost get to my car and I'm like, this bag doesn't seem very heavy for all this stuff. So I look inside, sure enough, no chips. Okay. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Now I got to march my pretty ASS back up into the food court. Okay. So I go, I put my Coke in the car and I go back out to the food court and I go in there and I stand and I stand and I stand. And I stand, and I wait, and I wait while these people are in the back talking, just hanging out, talking. They're, they see me standing there, okay? And I wait, and I wait, and I wait. And finally, this one guy that was, like, working his butt off, he comes over, he's like, can I help you? And I said, yeah, I was supposed to have a large bag of chips and a small bag of chips. And he's like, okay. So he gives me these two chips. So now I got my chips, and I got everything. Better, okay? Service, y'all get zero, okay? I'm sorry, but you get zero. So that's, I'm sorry, I don't care. <laughs> No, the guy at the very end was really, really nice to me. Let me just show you my corn salsa that I got. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Is this a topping? This is so small. Like, seriously? I got charged for that, and I'm supposed to eat it with small small chips. That, what does it say on here? I mean, it was like $3.75 or something for this. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is what you get for the smallest salsa? And this is why I don't go to Chipotle. And look, this is a large queso. A large queso. No, this is a taste of queso is what it is. I am so bitter. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix the corn salsa and this and just eat it together is what I'm gonna do. But I'm not gonna do that right now because it'll just be a mess of trouble. I swear to God, if I open this and there is meat on here, I am gonna be so bitter. You will, I will go in there and <laughs> I'll be very nice. I'll be very nice and polite. Okay, so here's my um, burrito. <laughs> which this lid is about coming off already before I even get to take it out of the bag. And I ordered it ahead of time and everything. Okay. I mean, it looks okay. So this is <laughs> kind of, this is what it looks like. So I really want to see if I can get in and try the, get in like I'm doing like a makeup review and try the cauliflower uh, rice by itself. So here's a little bit of that. Well, first of all, my burrito bowl is cold. Like the hot part that's supposed to be hot is cold. Mm hmm. Not like lukewarm, but like cold. And I came and picked it up right when I was supposed to. But it's good. <laughs> I mean, it's really good. Do you mix it all up? I do. The cauliflower rice, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like brown, which is interesting. I don't know why it wouldn't be. 
But I think on the picture on the menu, it wasn't. This whole experience has just not been happy. In the future, I'll just, when my husband's coming home, I'll just be like, yeah, I want a veggie bowl with cauliflower rice. Okay. I started seeing stringiness, and I was like, if this is chicken, and I am, I'm, I'm gonna be so mad, but it's not. Well, the burrito bowl is fantastic. And I really like the cauliflower rice. It has a different flavor to it than just like regular rice. Do you know what's interesting about this? Yeah, I have to. It's really, really spicy. Is the cauliflower rice spicy? Because usually when I get a burrito bowl, it's not spicy. What did I get on here that would have been spicy? The black beans are not super spicy. The queso's not. Corn, maybe the corn? Maybe the corn salsa a little bit? I don't think so, though. Well, the food... This is good. This is delicious. It's a five out of five. The service... Well, here's the deal. Had I known it was in the food court, I would never have done it. I just wouldn't have. But I'm glad I didn't now because I got the food. They were busy, but whatever. I still think that my... It's whatever. <laughs> I was really just mad that I had to walk all the way out to my car and then walk all the way back in again. You know what I mean? But listen, service with a smile, service with a smile. I'll give them a four on service. They were busy. Anyway, what do you think? <laughs> Better! Anyway, I love you guys, and I hope you're having a wonderful Mother's Amazingly, I'm trying to say amazingly magical, magical, amazingly from now on. Magically amazing Mother's Day weekend, and I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.